begin. By now, you know a lot more about your monograph, from conceiving it to finding the right publisher to you and writing to them with a proposal. So next, let's have a look at the whole process step by step and a few tips on how to navigate some key aspects of it. Right, the publishers process does vary slightly between publishers. So bear in mind that this might work slightly differently for you, but I've looked for things that are consistent across most people's experiences. So you write your proposal. Hopefully that leads to you being required to submit a full manuscript and then peer review comes along. Now, this can be a slightly challenging time for all authors, not just of monographs, but journal articles too. But remember, it's meant to be a constructive process. It's there to help you make your book as good as it possibly can be. And it's great to have the input of some experts in your field. So publishers vary slightly. Um, in some cases, they will ask reviewers to comment on the proposal itself to see whether they would like to see a manuscript. In every case, though, they will comment on the first draft of the manuscript. And then depending on the extent of the revisions they've asked for, they might do a second round of review on your revisions, which might lead to just acceptance or possibly another round of revisions after that. So don't be surprised if reviewers take months to get back with their comments. After all, they are often busy academics and they have a whole book to read through and give considerable thought to. Your response is going to be crucial, particularly at the stage between uh, having your manuscript reviewed for the first time and signing the contract. So make sure you take a bit of time to think about how can you demonstrate that you've understood the reviewer's comments, you've taken them on board and you're prepared to make the right changes, and you've got a realistic plan and timeline for how that's going to work. You need to impress the editor at this stage because only then will you receive a contract. And lastly, don't be scared of rewriting considerably. A lot of people, particularly on their first book, find that they finish their first manuscript and feel, right, done, that's it. Well, it isn't, unfortunately. Uh, there could be significant revisions to be made. We're not just talking a few cosmetic changes. You might need to change the structure of the whole book. You might need to rewrite most of the whole chapter. So be prepared to spend a bit of time on this. So if you get through the peer review and you write a good response, the editor will send you a contract. Great, congratulations. First time to celebrate. Um, but also, take your time and read through it carefully. It's easy to fall into the trap of being so elated at having a contract that you just sign it and send it back. But you might find down the line that you wish you'd made different decisions. One thing to think about is who holds the copyright. Now, it's less common than for journal articles, but some publishers might ask you to transfer the copyright to them. Now, that would make your book a third-party material even to you, so it would limit the, your ability to reuse and distribute it. Um, it's worth asking the editor whether there's any room for negotiation. Sometimes there is, sometimes there isn't, and then you'll just have to make a decision. Um, but do question it if you want to. Um, also think about the publisher's commitments. What are they going to do? Do they have a marketing plan? How much the production process will be left to you? Again, be realistic in what you can expect. But if there's anything that you're not happy with, it might be worth asking a few more questions and thinking about what would work for you. And lastly, what would be your commitments? Make sure you know what the publishers expects from you in terms of timeline, in terms of promotion, and so on. Once you're happy, sign it, send it back. And then starts the process of redrafting, which, as we said, can take a little bit of time. There might be one more round of review, but eventually you'll come to the finished manuscript. And then there will be production queries. You will receive proofs to check and send back. You will have to write an index and a bibliography. Now, this stage can be a little bit tedious. And also, you can see the finish line. You're so close to having your book in your hand. So it's easy to rush it a little bit, but try not to. Because if you miss something now, it's always going to glare at you from the page when you have the final book. So take your time and check the copy editing. How good is it? Will the publisher do it or is that left to you? If the latter, remember that it's very hard to spot our own mistakes. We have a blind spot there. So it might be worth seeing if you can get some friend or family member to help or even look for a commercial copy editing service. 
Images are the other thing you should be really careful about if there are any, because that's where tweaks are often required. Um, are they the right size? Is the quality good enough? Again, be realistic. Larger images will have a larger production cost, so the publisher might not be prepared to do them. But if the image is so small that it's unintelligible, then it's worth querying that with the publisher and seeing if you can find a different compromise. And lastly, the index and bibliography. More and more publishers are asking the authors to do that, and that's fine, but it is quite time consuming. So think about whether that's something you want to do yourself or whether you want to hire uh, somebody who does it commercially. So once all that is done, you finally get your copies in the mail or you get the link to the digital copy. So great, congratulations, that's a massive achievement. You're not quite done though. You're still thinking about the book and now that you have it in your hand, it's time to promote it and let people know about it. So the first thing to do is to shout about it. If you're on social media, use that as much as you can. Um, it's also worth asking your librarian or your department. They often have a social media account that they might tweet about or, or whatever. Um, if you are going to a conference, then by all means, mention your book if it's about to come out or has come out. Um, consider writing to mailing lists in your field or in your department to let people know. And there's also publications such as The Conversation and The Winnower. Um, those are written by academics, but they're for a more general public. So especially if your monograph might have broader appeal, and consider writing a piece about it on them. Um, publishers are usually happy to help with promotional material. They might, for example, have some flyers that they can give you before you go to a conference to hand out. Um, that just helps both parties and it's a nice touch. And lastly, make sure you get the local help you can. Your faculty and department might have a PR department that could help with this. Um, there's also uh, the whole Cambridge websites, there's help from your librarian and from the research development program in terms of building those skills and tips for how to promote your work. So overall, it's a long process. It will take a lot of effort, a lot of time, but it's going to be absolutely worth it and it's going to feel great once you have your book out there. So I wish you all the very best with all of that. I hope your monograph comes out soon and it makes you very proud. And I hope you can join us next week for the next module of Research Skills. Thank you and bye.